So in this video, I'm really going to dive into what I have begun to see about desires, uh, something that I've not really seen in, in this way before, but I'm now seeing it to be really, really powerful as a means to um, bring ourselves into the world and into reality so that we can actually achieve the things we really want or discover that we may already have them and not get so caught up in trying to feel differently because if we are chasing desires to try and feel better then we are going to come unstuck so let me begin by a little bit about how i have come to connect to this particular topic so uh, as some of you may know i burnt out in 2015 and i do now see the root cause of that burnout was because i was trying to seek some kind of feeling of well-being some kind of feeling of being okay in the outside world in in my achievements in the main and i don't think that's particularly uncommon for high achieving women i do think that we've been led to believe that, that there is some pinnacle of success and that when we reach that we'll suddenly feel okay we'll feel better about ourselves we'll suddenly fill that hole that perhaps you can relate to feeling like there is a hole inside you and it, it's just not true <laughs> it really isn't true now in a lot of spiritual conversations we're encouraged i think to sort of put our desires to one side i think one of the pillars of buddhism is around not desiring anything and that actually suffering comes from desire but i've been working with a lovely lady called claire diamond recently and i have really come to see this whole thing around desire in a very very different way so it, it, it's as if there are two types of desire really and i'm going to talk about them both um during this session and i hope you find that helpful so the first type of desire that i think an awful lot of us can relate to and probably are living our life with with this kind of desire in mind without even knowing that that's going on i think it's very unconscious and that is that we want something to happen in the world we want to create something in the world and there is a sense that we will feel better in some way shape or form we'll feel happier more fulfilled more worthy and we'll feel recognized perhaps by people outside of us if only we could just get all these different things in place now that turns into a quite crazy game of whack-a-mole that is very very difficult to escape and for me as I've just mentioned, I burnt out. And I think it, for me, it was my career. It was, you know, trying to get everything right, trying to have the right amount of money, but the right accolades and things like that. And it was self-worth, I think. I think I just was chasing that. The problem was that once I got to the stage where I was at the top of the ladder, um, I, I still didn't feel okay. And I think if you speak to people, um, and I know lots of people who work with very high net worth individuals who are still feeling distinctly insecure, distinctly fearful, not, not worthy at all, not feeling like they've actually cracked it, despite the fact they've got millions or billions in the bank. Now, isn't that interesting to see that? that you can actually get to the stage where you've got everything that lots of us <laughs> us normal people who don't have millions in the bank could could really be um yeah we could really be experiencing that have all of that have all that stuff in the world and still not feel okay so that that's one type of desire and i would say that an awful lot of our desires are coming from that place whether it is to do with our financial goals to do with our income goals or our you know our career goals or how many clients we've got or whatever else it is 
or whether it's to do with if that person could just be a bit different or my circumstances could be a bit different or my body Ugh, that's a big one isn't it especially for um high achieving gen x women who are all at a certain age now that's another one isn't it like if my body was just a certain way i would be okay i would feel okay and it goes on and on and on and on and we may achieve one of those desires by by you know sheer i think sheer, sheer determination from a, a not very healthy place and when we get there we just go oh it's not here and that for me was reaching the top of my career ladder that i perceived was my career ladder and then not feeling okay and then thinking well it must be something else then and and progressing into a quite insane um social life that um wore me out in the end and had me burnt out and unable to work for a year and then unable to go back to my career as a primary school head teacher so that's the first type of desire it's not it's not so good but i think it's really cool to write down our desires and go right okay what what's the what's this really about and i think for me when i'm working with people it's often asking that question why you know why do you want that um and keep keeping on digging with that you know you can do that yourself in self coaching obviously you can also do that with if you you know have a conversation with me but it's it's about diving into that and really going deeply into a why do i want that and it may be that actually your desire is a type 2 desire and a type 2 desire is 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 just because i want that thing because it would be fun or because you know it's almost like a a holding of it just a little bit lighter like it's not got that oh i need this to be like this and then i can feel okay like the number one desire does number two desire is oh yeah that would be fun that would be great i'd like to have that and it doesn't have that underpinning um thing of and and i've i've got to i've got to have it otherwise i'm not going to feel like not going to be happy i'm going to feel worthy i'm not going to feel good enough there's going to be a hole if i don't get this thing in place so the, the 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 level two desires are very different now what's really interesting about this and i'm, I'm hoping i'm going to articulate this well enough is that if we so let's say we have a desire to feel worthy and 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 we're saying oh you know i want to have 10 new clients so i can feel worthy the issue is that that feeling of that that not feeling worthy is a really hard place to go out into the world and create clients because if i don't feel worthy already can i can i do a live video can i can i put content out in the world can i do things um can i take part in things can i share my message clearly articulate well enough it it's going to be tough that's going to be really tough because we're going to come up against that unworthiness that awful feeling so we're moving towards the thing we want thinking that's going to make us feel worthy but on the way because we don't feel worthy already because we don't feel that feeling of security inside us it's really hard to do the actions that we would need to do to get the thing we want to get and this is what's really cool about this when we do move towards a want or a desire we will come up against some of those things we may not even realize because we probably don't realize that you know we're categorizing something no it's just it's just a, a level 2 desire it's absolutely fine <laughs> i just want it because i want it it's not got any of that stuff wrapped around it but as we as we make a plan and we move to let's say it's the 10 new clients as we make a plan and we move towards it that some of that stuff is going to come up and that will be the healing like i've done i've done a video recently that's about that that you know that's the space for healing that's the space where we start to see oh yeah you know this is it i, I can i can actually um I can actually, you know, experience the discomfort. I can actually move towards the thing. And as we experience that discomfort, that feeling of unworthiness, perhaps, 
in the action, in the activity of moving towards the want, that is healed. Because as soon as we can do the thing, the healing has happened, hasn't it? That that's just really, really profound. So I hope I hope that's helpful. I'm really um I've got a lovely teacher, Claire Diamond, at the moment. I recommend you do read some of her books. They're amazing. And the the just the way she articulates all of this has really lit something up in me and I, I, I want to share it too. Hopefully I've articulated it as well as she does. Um but anyway, it's out there. So let's see what happens. Um yeah, and and get in touch if you'd like to know a little bit more about that. Um and you want to explore it if you're seeing that some of your desires are definitely about you feeling better in some way then we could have a conversation about that and i could help okay thank you so much for listening in take care lots of love and i'll see you again soon